Put my glasses on. Maybe not. Nah, maybe go for a second. So um, I'm here at a, a wedding ceremony on campus. Uh, one of the other postgraduate students just got married. Anyway, um, and so uh, of course it, it takes place. We have a theology department. It has a nice little uh, churchy chapel, you know, and the thing. It's, it's very, very, I like it, you know. Um, but see, I don't usually uh, go to churches. <laughs> Uh, I try to avoid them as best as possible, especially ceremonies, because they think that they you know a pastor, preacher, pastor, whatever they are, and they start, you know, railing. You know, they stay, they think they're in the railing service, and they go and they they spew all this stuff, and then you can't really answer. You know what I mean? This is why I don't go to church because I don't want somebody give me misinformation, and I can't challenge them. And of course, you know. Uh, They'll say, oh, well, we have service on Sundays from 9 to 12, we should come in. But then I have to react again. You know, in fact, I was thinking if we have the reception in a little while to go and approach them and some certain things he said, I don't, I don't uh, say it doesn't make any logical sense. And uh, But he'll tell me, yeah, come, but you know, I know how they do. Anyway, but, but what, are the things, what, what are the things he said, uh, um, aside from, it's another strange thing. You have to be railing against polygamy. You know, we're in Africa, polygamy. Uh, South African clearly, and, and I just don't understand that. You know, if you have your thing, you know, why would you put down another thing? Especially human order history. I mean, there's reasons for polygamy, but polyandry, whatever that is, and, and it has to do with war and you know, and then going out, whatever it is. So I really didn't, you know, get into that. Plus, then, then the other thing that was kind of interesting, they go into the whole Adam and Eve thing, you know, man and woman thing, and all this stuff, and, and the man in charge. And I'm like, and one of the things he says, you know, that, that woman came from, you know, from the God put woman and man, and the man and woman comes from man, and it's just the whole, you know, rib thing, uh, uh, you know, Adam's rib kind of thing. And I remember uh, women have the XX chromosome, you know, and men have the XY chromosome. So if anything, you know, men are missing something. So it's like, ah, I'm going to get into that. The point really is, is that, <laughs> is, is that I just don't get it, you know. Uh, you, well, no, no. Let's, let's do, just do the Latino culture, for instance. Uh, they have it where, say, your surname, your last name, uh, would be, say, for instance, your mother was Garcia, your father was uh, Rodriguez. Your name would be whatever it is, then, and then the last name would be Rodriguez Garcia because we know the mother's lineage, you know, the child comes from the mother. And that's really a much more identifiable thing instead of this man ownership and you hand it over to the man kind of thing. So that, that, that just, you know, I mean, this makes logical sense to me. So, so <laughs> let me put my, my glasses on this so they can't identify me. I guess it's too late now, but anyway. So, so what I'm thinking is kind of like, hey, you know, can't y'all even use a little bit of logic instead of going with the tradition that doesn't make any, you know, logical sense? I mean, you can still adjust and, and keep your religion or whatever, have you, or your faith, your, your your beliefs, without, you know, putting somebody else down or without going against you know, what's now a, a proven science or whatever it is, you know. But they're they're not having it anyway. This. That's neither here nor there. Oh, by the way, this is a, a top made by my wife, and she's going to join me shortly. She's not anyway, she, she has a matching. She made this outfit, a matching dress. She's a designer, so you know we're going to look quite the uh, quite the couple as we go to the reception. And anyway, I just wanted to let you know this this that me being T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.